What's up, y'all? It's B Dougie, and I've got a feature for you to check out. And today we got a special guest, which is Luke Walker of Yubico, and he's going to talk about how you can secure your commits with a YubiKey. Now, these YubiKeys you've probably seen all around, but did you know you could actually leverage these to have signed commits within GitHub? That is something he's going to show us just now. So, hey, Luke. Why don't you take it away? Hi, today I'd like to show how easy it is to sign your Git commits and tags with YubiKeys and see your signature verification on GitHub using GNU Privacy Guard software. Why sign commits or tags? It comes down to trust. From a security standpoint, by default, Git does not provide assurance of authorship. Anyone could be specified as the author of a commit or tag. However, Git does provide the capability to sign your work with GPG. This allows you to verify that the data is coming from a trusted source. How do you keep your private GPG key safe? I'll show you how to add a hardware protected key to your GitHub account and how to set up Git to automatically sign your commits and show what it looks like to sign those commits. To get started, you'll need to have GNUPG installed. I've also installed a pin entry UI tool for the convenience of popping up a dialogue for me when I, it's required that I enter a pin. Here you can see my YubiKey. I've already set it up with my GPG private key. And for step-by-step -step instructions on how I did this, uh, you please refer to the link below. First, I'm gonna here list my keys on my system. You'll notice that I have one set up with my email address. This is important because GitHub is gonna validate that you're the owner of that email address. Second thing you'll notice is that the signing key is designated with the letter S. That's the one we're gonna to use to configure Git on our local system for our commits. Okay, now we're ready to uh, upload our private key and add it to our GitHub account. So I'm gonna run GPG armor output to a file uh, and export my, the key associated with my email address. And here you can see my public key. So we're gonna copy everything, including the begin and end blocks. And we're gonna go to our GitHub account settings, GPG SSH page. And you can see that I've already added my key here, but if we're gonna add it in, we'd click add GPG key, paste in our public key and click add. The next step, is to set up your local Git system to automatically sign commits. First, we need to identify the key ID we want to use to sign. So when I run list keys command, I'm going to use my signing you can see here. Next, I'm gonna configure Git with my user signing key ID. Then I'm gonna turn on auto signing. And you may have to specify which GPG program to use. Now let's walk through signing a commit and verifying that commit. I've got a Git repository here. Let's make a change to a file, say add a new line. Here you can see that I've made a modification, so let's commit it. We can use the capital S option to designate that we want to sign the commit, but since we've already configured Git with auto signing, we can skip that option. Now Git is prompting us for the pin. Everything seemed to work as expected. Let's verify it. I'm gonna type git show head show signature, and you can see we have a good signature with my signing key. Now let's see what this looks like on GitHub. We can push the commit to the repository, and you can see now that my commit has a verified status, which means the commit was signed, the signature was successfully verified, and I am the commit, I'm the author of the commit. We can also see that my GPG key ID is the same as what we configured Git with earlier. Awesome, so thanks, Luke. Um, so. We now know how to do GPG keys and use your YubiKey to set that up and get signed commits. But now I'm curious about SSH. Uh, how can I use the same sort of setup or with my YubiKey, but have a private SSH key connected as well? Yeah. With GPG, you can also use your authentication key to uh, secure your SSH to GitHub. And that works great. What's exciting and new is that SSH now supports generating and storing your private key on a FIDO2 security key. What makes this a compelling option is how easy it is to set up. We have a link below which shows uh, how you can get this up and running and, and use this new capability quickly. What's more is that you get all the great benefits of FIDO2. So you can configure non-resident and resident credentials. Basically, a resident credential stores a little data on the key itself, which offers the convenience of generating your public SSH key on demand when you plug it into a new system. Uh, and you can also set up a pin to protect your SSH credential and get passwordless multi-factor authentication. Yeah, uh, truly exciting too as well. And if you weren't aware, listener, that GitHub is going passwordless. So this is a great opportunity for you to grab a UV key uh, and set this up so that way you could also push your commits without worrying about typing your password on the command line for security reasons. So if you want to learn more about that, we'll have a link in the description below on how to set that up. Uh, and if you want to watch more about GitHub features, stick around and watch the next video.